Let's Talk. This is episode two in this new series that I'm starting on my channel last week. Um, this episode, I'm able to do right after I watched The Talking Dead. We just ended it, I want to say like five, five, ten minutes ago, and it was hilarious. Also, I am drinking hot chocolate with me that I'm going to sit there so I don't spill it. going through all the thoughts that are going through my head since the episode started. So when we first started in the episode, I was like, are we even watching The Walking Dead? And then we see Morgan and Carol, or Morgan pushing Carol in a wheelchair because she had just woken up and had asked him where they were and he told, or he was explaining things as he was pushing her along. Um, people saying hi everywhere, and in like Chris Hardwick sa said on the show, it's like they stepped into a Renaissance fair, and it was a fairy tale type show, or fairy tale type place. Um, and then. We walk into this, like, stadium thing, or, yeah, like a theater stadium thing, some kind of theater room, and sitting at the front of the room on stage is the king himself, King Ezekiel. I have a hard time saying his name, so I apologize. He looks freaking awesome and majestic on his throne, and on his left, or technically on his right, um, is a jester, and he had the best jokes in the show. Scott Gimple was not wrong when he said that this, sh that this episode was going to be funny, sorry. You know, he was not wrong when he said that this was going to be a funny episode after what we just saw last week. Now, if you're like me, you may be still trying to recover from last week's shocking and epic start to this season. But I'm still kind of recovering. Um, they had one of the questions on the Talking Dead, one of the poll questions was, how are you recovering from, or are you still recovering from the Walking Dead? And there was yes, or from the premiere, and there was yes, no, and who's Negan, I think? Or like, in the illusion state, I'm in that, or denial, it was denial. I'm like, yep, I'm the denial one, and <sighs> I had a lot to say about that, which is in the, I'll, I'll make this into a playlist pretty much after I'm done filming this. Yeah, so my last video, I was still like in shock and I did that yesterday. Um, 
Yeah, this was just a weird episode because we get introduced to King Ezekiel and Shiva, his tiger. There's a freaking tiger on the show. Obviously not a real tiger, but it's a mix between mechanical works, kind of like what they did with Narnia and um, Aslan in Narnia. They actually made a whole mechanical um, lion. Thing. Wow, I am running out of words here. So, this was a beautiful episode, and it was, like, a really good, like, step down to be able to just relax during an episode, because I felt strangely relaxed, and as we moved on, and as we kind of got to know, um, Ezekiel more, I was like, these people don't know how to kill. They're, they're not gonna know how to kill. Um, cause they show their, like, little army thing going to go get the pigs and coming, doing that trade with Ningen's group. And, <sighs> this is gonna be what's so annoying because, yes, they may, they do know everything that's going on. That's part of what me and my dad talked about. And they do know everything that's going on outside of their walls, but do they know how to fight? Do they know how to survive out there? I don't think they do. Maybe Ezekiel does, and maybe a few other people who've actually been on the outside walls do, and does. And when he and was talking to Carol trying to get her not to leave, um, or not to want to die. She was putting on a mask that he saw under. Yeah, that he saw under. I'm sorry if I'm going all over the place. That's just how my mind works. And we're getting through the episode, so. That's just how this is going to work. Um, anyways, so. He... They have that really nice talk, and that was probably one of my favorite parts in the episode, because, um, when he threw the flames into, or the matches into the, um, bonfires, and made those, and then, or when she was gonna steal a piece of fruit from the tree, and I feel like Carol should have just kind of trusted them at some point, and just kind of let herself or allow herself to relax and not want to be on the run. But after that bit, I feel like I missed stuff. No, oh, we'll go back to the kid later. Um, but that was a really interesting conversation because it, it, Ezekiel opened himself up to Carol to get her on his side kind of thing and to because he needs Carol and he needs someone strong who's actually survived on the outside or in the outside world from theirs. I don't know if that made any, any sense. He needs someone like her and when or in the next scene after we have that talk is Morgan and Carol on horses going to the house where she had the illusion of the woman who was at banging on, or the walker who was banging on the window and she had the illusion of her changing into back into who she was and that creeped me out, or that part creeped me out, and, um, I hope that Carol figures out what she wants, and that it's not death, because I don't want Carol to die, and apparently in the comics they die, her and Morgan both die, um, before they even meet Ezekiel, ah, I can't say his name, but, yeah, I'm trying to get through all, like, the main points of the show. I also really liked, um, Morgan talking to that kid 
and they shouldn't have brought him with them when they were going to go get the pigs because he didn't have a clue as to what was like or he seemed not to have a clue and he's not strong enough yet and that he needs to I don't know I feel like you can't go out and just fight right away in that world you have to get your mind wrapped around it first and your heart wrapped around it in order to be able to survive out there and kill the walkers and the way that they did that little thing where he stabbed the shoulder like right here he stabbed the shoulder I'm like and he stabbed the shoulder which is the wrong place to stab a walker you gotta go for the head yeah you gotta go for the head because that will kill them stabbing them anywhere else will not kill them two times to the head will work um I think I got everything I wanted to say in like that little bit so just my thoughts on the show I loved this episode it was strangely relaxing the choir the choir is what I got okay when they played the choir I'm like I don't like this this doesn't feel right it just doesn't feel right and when I saw the choir I'm like Okay, they're, they're gonna die. At some point, they're gonna die. They're... Like, if the walls came down like we did in Alexandria, our group knew how to fight because they're survivors out there. And these people, I don't think, know one thing about surviving out there. Or they probably do, but it will be false. And... Yeah, the whole thing is pretty much just a renaissance fair. A modern time renaissance, or modern time apocalyptic renaissance fair. And that was just eh, crazy. And I didn't really... I mean, the player was beautiful. But, I mean, the first thing I thought when I saw them was... They're gonna die if their walls come down and walkers start coming in, or if... Oh, and the thing with Negan, they don't even know what Ezekiel's doing with the food that they're giving to Negan. They don't know about that, because he wants to keep it from him, from everyone. He wants them to, um, have this fantasy life, or for them. And it's good, but then it's not good. And it, I do think it's a good place, but when you look at it, it is run by Negan. But they... They are... Or... I think my dad said that they have a bigger army. So Negan's not going to mess with them as much. Although... I don't think... Eh... I, I don't know. I, I think I might just stop the video right here. Um, just because I can go on and on. And it probably doesn't make sense. I just want to get everything that's on my mind out there. And or out of my mind. And these videos will help me do that. And I want to start doing these for the flash. But we're already a few episodes in to the season um and I that, that whole show is messed up anyways I might do this for once upon a time um because I love that show and I may just start re-watching it from the beginning because I forgot where I left off um yeah so tonight's episode was really good I got really excited with King Ezekiel his jester, his court jester was hilarious. Please. And. Yeah, that was. It was awesome. Although I got kind of mad at Carol when she. Literally 
me moments that um, she we see her across the table from a guy folding. She's crying, and my dad's like, "Okay, when is she gonna steal this time?" And then we see her asking for tissues, and we see her stealing a set of clothes and putting it under her blankets. And I'm like, she doesn't have to do all of this. She doesn't. Um, yeah, so those are kind of my thoughts. These are just rambling videos that I want to do and am still going to do. If you have any thoughts on tonight's episode of The Walking Dead, leave them in in the comments down below I'll be replying and we can have ourselves a little conversation yeah so I'm gonna get <sighs> yeah so that was one awesome episode and if you watch the talking in afterwards they showed how they made Shiva and I thought that was cool because it reminded me of the um, the Chronicles of Narnia. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you with that now so that this doesn't become a one really long video of me just rambling on. Um, by the way, I'm gonna leave that for another video. Never mind. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you love The Walking Dead, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I will do videos like this one where I just ramble on and on and if you like that then subscribe I guess um and I'm not even gonna say that now before you watch these watch The Walking Dead because like I just did I went through pretty much some of the main plot points within the episode and I do like doing these videos and I get excited to do them because I get to talk about them with you guys. So I'm gonna leave with that. I'll see you in another Let's Talk video next Sunday around 11.40 or 11.20 to 12 depending on whenever we finish um, the talking in. And yeah, hope you guys have a safe and fun Halloween and I'll see you in another video. Bye!